All right, so we have a giant maze here in front of us, and it's going to be uh, your job to create a squiggle animation, so like a little line that's actually going to find its way through the maze. Now, you're going to start here. This is the start, and this is the end. You want to get your guy over here. So to do that, we draw our first little squiggle. Uh, I need to make a blank keyframe right here, so I can do that by going to Insert, Timeline, and Blank Keyframe. Doing so, I will have, as you can see, like a, it has a circle in there that's not filled in. That's a blank keyframe. And then I can draw my next one. Now, I want to be able to see my previous picture so I know where to draw. So I will click on the onion skin, which is right here. I click it, and now I can see what was before it. I'm now going to click and draw a little bit more. And I can go to Insert, Timeline, Blank Keyframe, and I can draw another one. Now what's going to happen is it's going to create the look like it's moving here, as you can see. I'm just going to scroll back and forth by clicking and dragging. Now I'm going to go and make another one by going Insert, Timeline, and Blank Keyframe. Again, I can draw it. And I want to make it look like it's actually moving in a direction. So I'm going to lead with the head. We'll just make this the head and this is the tail. It's going to lead that way. Now. If I want to make another blank keyframe, I could go to Insert and Timeline and Blank Keyframe, or I could simply hit Function F7 on my keyboard, like this. Now, <clears throat> I have another blank keyframe. I can draw Function of 7. So my left hand is just hitting Function of 7, and then my right hand is just drawing. That way I can do it a lot faster. Now remember, if you have slow things happening, like if you want it to look slow, you need to make very small movements. So I'm not making them very far apart. I'm just kind of slowly making it go here. I'm going to make them come around the corner. Now, I'm going to have him come in here just for fun. He's going to look in, and then he's going to kind of pop. I'm just going to draw a bunch really close, like almost the exact same. Let's have him look over here. And then kind of pause. And we'll have him kind of come over here. And then kind of work his way out. If I want to make him go a little faster, I can draw bigger spaces between them. So now he's going to look like he's going fast. Whoops. Command Z is undo. Good thing to know. And I just keep making him go, but I'm going to slow down. You want it not to be too fast most of the time. Otherwise, it's going to look fake and not very real. So as you can see, I've already created 105 frames. If I can go back to the beginning. If I turn off onion skin, you can see what it looks like. Kind of comes in. It's going to go in here. It's going to kind of look. Comes out. See that? So that's how it's going to look, pretty much. Your job is to make, get him all the way here. Make sure that you make it interesting. Make him go to some of the wrong places and look around or try and figure out what's going on. You can make him angry or be creative. Do something fun. All right, good luck.